What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video we're talking about a new tool called Cherry Flower, which allows you to downgrade or to restore a custom-made firmware for iCloud Bypass or any other purpose on 32-bit devices like the iPhone 5C, iPhone 5, iPhone 4 and so on. It has been released by user Dora in here and they said quote, Cherry Flower has been separated as a single project, it will be updated here in the future and I will no longer tweet about this tool on this account. And they posted this link in here, which is basically a GitHub account with the uh, repo for this tool. And it says, what is this tool? This is a CLI or command line tool to restore and downgrade 32-bit devices with custom-made firmware. Supported devices include the iPhone 4, 5 and 5C and the operating systems supported are the Mac OS 10.13 and later and the Ubuntu and uh, the supported downgrades are either tethered or untethered. The difference is that the untethered one doesn't require a computer at all. You can just power on the device normally and you don't need a computer or a tool and the tethered one would still be able to downgrade but you need to power on the device with the computer you need a tool every time you power on the device otherwise it refuses to boot now the custom-made firmware restore can actually be very useful for those of you who are looking into iCloud bypass with custom-made firmware because you might be able to restore it with this tool in here on your iPhone 5 5c or 4 because this tool in here also includes the checkmate exploit which is a boot from exploit that is available for the iPhone 5 and newer this means that you are able to restore the custom-made firmware you are able to patch ASR or Apple system restore and the uh, setup the app and stuff like that with no problem now there are a couple of tools in here and I'm going to show you what it contains. Once you download it and unpack it, it comes like this and um, you have the Ubuntu or the Mac OS uh, files in here. I'm going to open Mac OS and in here they're grouped into the tethered or untethered. Now you're going to use it depending on what you need. In the case of the tethered one, you just have to open the terminal and of course I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you to be able to see and you have to CD or change directory to that folder, drag and drop it like this. And here, if you ls or list the directory, you can see that there are a couple of tools available, including iDevice Restore, iRecovery, PondyFU. But what you have to run is dot slash cherry. It's the application itself, and it looks like this. So once you open it, it says uh, cherry flower IPSW, build 11 in my case. And if you don't pass any parameters to it, it will, of course, tell you the usage. You have to input an IPSW, boot images, and stuff like that. And of course, it gives you a couple of flags. So um, yeah, this is actually like future restore or like um, if you want iDevice Restore, it allows you to perform a downgrade or a custom-made firmware restore and you can build your own patched custom-made firmware and of course restore it with this, but only on 32-bit devices and only on the devices listed in here. And yeah, for the untethered stuff on the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5C, you need iOS 7.x and 7.1.x blobs. But yeah, if you want to check out the Cherry Flower tool, it seems to be very interesting, especially for the custom-made firmware restore part, especially since it comes with support for Checkmate and for the untethered stuff it says in here that a tool that untethered downgrades devices with the DRIBUS antiquist without SHSH or using SHSH for iOS 7 and this is exploited at iBoot level so you can perform all custom-made firmware restore booting with verbose, applying custom boot logo, untethered jailbreak and stuff like that. This is actually very useful, it's a very good tool, especially if you have an older device like an iPhone 5 or 5C and you want to give it some more life. So, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.